All right, hello everyone, I'm Ramman Ratio, and, um, yeah. We're returning to Vermintide 2, after quite a long break from it. And, uh, last time whenever I had taken a bit of a break from Vermintide 2, it's because the, the bot combat improvement mod got kind of broken by an update. And it has since, since been unsanctioned. Which means that even the minute parts of the bot improvement bot, uh, mod that worked no longer work. And we are basically flying off the handle with jack and shit. <sighs> All right, swapped over. Um, guess I'm just gonna do Kruger. Just another glorious day in the right one. All right, we need to do a warm up custom game. Uh, I can't do Cataclysm with bots, especially the vanilla bots. They they they'll die. I don't think they can handle Legend I Legend either, but uh, we'll find out. You know, with all of these, the more I look at them, I'm just like, can the bots handle this? We'll run off in the middle of the finale to chase specials. We'll run off in the middle of the finale to chase specials. We'll turbo focus the, the monster that spawns at the end. Can't handle any of the boss maps. Any of them. Uh, we'll scatter and not cover me while I press a button. Will scatter and not stay with me as I break chains. Or Braxton Brook might be okay, but I imagine they're going to scatter and chase specials. We'll get stuck and lag behind, and then we'll die. This also might be doable. It will be a pain in the ass as they they'll get distracted a lot by the the chaff that spawns in. And this one is right off the table. They're just going to die repeatedly. So let's hop into a uh, private game of Fort Braxenbrooker. As our warm up, and then we'll probably go do there Chaos Waste. Sworn everywhere right now, and if it wasn't for Fort Braxenbrooker, they'd be even farther afield. I'd suggest you get out there. And make sure Fort Braxenbrooker holds. Avoid the siege lines by taking a secret path down by the river. Chances Don't worry, that black screen was normal. I had to alt tab it. real quick. Beggars can't be choosers. My paranoia is uh, special. All right, my bots are set as Ironbreaker because it is the best bot. Uh, Sister of the Thorn because damage amp and. Warrior Priest of Sigmar because health generation in quotes. That knee increases my health to 169, which is nice. We're not gonna go for Tomes and Grims, we're just gonna try and get through this. I think if me and my I think if my buddy Ford was here, I'd be able to go for Tomes and Grims, because that's something we did a lot back in the day. Running two people, two bots, Tomes and Grims. We did have the, uh, the improvement mod to help us with that. Hi, Olivia. How are you today? To be honest, Olivia, the first time you came into my chat, I assumed you were, uh, one of the spam bots. First name, last name, bunch of numbers is, uh, is a funny thing to see, unironically. There's the globe here. I 
slowly get working away from where the bots are. So this is the problem with the bots is they have a lot of trouble staying with you on uh, on basically every difficulty. Meant to be Olivia Martin, 1997, but it was taken. Did you want to ironically go with first name, last name, date of birth? Well, oh, year of birth. The Chaos Warrior's dead. Don't answer that. I don't want to know if you were born in 1997. But yeah, I, su I suppose that kind of thing would track. Where's that fat oh, bastard? Gun rat. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Run. That's why we ran. You were born in 1997. You shouldn't have told me that. Oh, heavens. Young people. Was I the only one who took internet safety courses where it was just like, oh yeah, don't give out personal information on the internet. And if you do, lie. You were born in the 1800s. You're a Victorian peasant. Currently living in, what is it, Luxembourg. And your favorite hobby is dragging your plague-ridden body through the streets. Man, th th this is such a weird, like, old thing, like, advent of the internet kind of thing, where it was just like, oh, yeah. Like, back in the day, it was just proverbial internet common sense of don't, don't give internet, uh, personal information out on the internet. Like, with the advent of Facebook and whatnot, like, that, that became less of a thing, and people were more comfortable with putting their information out there. I don't understand why. But I guess to get into details as to why is personal information it actually has intrinsic value. It's why there are people out there who steal personal data. And sure, it might seem obvious, like, oh yeah, like, I don't know, your mother's maiden name, or... or your grandparents' name, or stuff like that, or, or, you know, the year you were born, where you graduated from school. These are information that are asked for security reasons, and fishing that information out of someone means that you can bypass passwords occasionally, or enter recovery states. Although, even that has started to go away the dodo with two-factor authentication. But old, I, I, I would say geriatric systems, but sometimes even modern systems don't have the same safeguards as, as like, I don't know, Google or something. And it can be very easy to, to still lose your account. Shield vermin, watch out! That and it probably doesn't help that, that I lived through, I, I managed to live through the advent of 4chan, the worst years of 4chan, and then the fall of 4chan.
Although, even with that being said, the advent of GeoGuessr, posting pictures is just like, okay, here's a picture. Someone out there, some professional GeoGuessr player will be able to guess where you are. Also, we're very lucky. I'm very lucky here. I don't, I don't know why I said we. The bots can't process what's going on. Not very well, anyways. But we, myself, and the AI are very lucky that there is a... Uh, it's a Storm Fiend, because Storm Fiends are very easy to deal with. They are barely a threat. Actually, currently fine, not dying. Is that the storm fiend or something about the internet safety rant? My God! If you unironically hit me with a with a what's for Chan? I'm gonna feel so gaslit. Sure what it is. I I beg you to use your words. You can shorten it. If you want to know what a storm fiend is, you can just ask what is what is SF, and I will answer to the best of my abilities. If you mean 4chan, how to help you. Come on, AI. Drag along. There's a patrol. Do I have natural bond or something? Now that, that's a global hit. I thought you were less fragile than most madling cells fire. I cannot survey. Oh, no, I can't tell you, you gas flash. I'd like to see that. Kill them, I can be around. I reckon I can take it. Please. That's nothing. Just trading, that's all. Besides, couldn't do it without you. Hush. Can't you hear more coming? Drop the size of your swollen eagles. I'll use these stairs as choke point and uh, deal with the horde, then push on once it's cleared out. Backstabber, he's 
The rasp of feather. Is that a fire that? There's an assassin over there. It might be trying to dip back over to there. And I think there's a rattling gun as well. Just hiding off the in the aether. Real quick. And we're good to continue. More or less. Statistically unlikely second monster in addition to an area that monsters don't generally spawn. Means we should be safe to push forward. Think of the Ratman as being siege canny. Knife in the back or the bowels is all their way. And then you misjudge them, Kruma. The Ratmen are fearsome in sieges, most often clawing their way in from below. Sick rat play, bastards! The dwarf has my back. Look, a warrior rat. No sense remaining in the plague, main glory. Dead man wins all over. At least the dwarf quarter is fared a little better. Managed to take a bit of chip damage again. Dwarf is at full health. I do believe you're getting better at this point. Yeah, well, it takes a few battles to get everything going the way it should. And to shake off that pain of hell you down last night, I should have done that. In fact, the reason I've started to slow down and I'm not just outright pushing ahead is because the objective that's at the top of the screen, defend the gate means defend this gate. Don't ask me why. And now we can fire the cannon. and stand on top of the cannon for this. It's safer, and the AI is dumb, so... Ah, Dwarf Gaming. Puts up shield. Falls asleep. I have two. Another acceptable shot, another failed machine. Aim it one more time and then? Or, yeah, aim it one more time, get the final cannonball. This has gone surprisingly painlessly. For me, the elf, not so much. Learned how to dupe deeds and get easy reds after so many years of this game. Take out that rattling shot! 
I would say, ooh, tell me, tell me, but the problem is I'd still need to do deeds, and since I don't really play with other people when it comes to Vermintide 2, unless it's, like, small group of friends I have, uh, I'd have to complete deeds alone, and that sounds like suffering. Taking a slightly longer way around. I was gonna say because it's generally safer. And then immediately two enemies drop down into where it was. You do it in recruit and get Emperor's chests? I mean... Well, you... I suppose you could. Doesn't that not work because of the way the power scaling is? I get that reds are always 300 power, but... Aren't recruit emperor chests so infinitesimally small chance for red? Do they even have a chance for reds? It's a cheese. Eh, I'll pass. Sounds a neat and all, but no thank you. Get Empress Chest like it's the deed reward, but you play whatever difficulty you want. Ah! You were farming for the new staves. Aren't... Aren't DLC weapons from specific careers... Uh, what is it? Aren't they craft only? Because that's kind of what they do. It's just like, oh, what's that? You've, you've unlocked... You bought Kruber? The Grail Knight? Congratulations! You now have to just sit there and craft your own and then upgrade a red. They are, that's why you need the red dust. Ah, that'll do. Sorry, my ability to make connections is the greatest right now. Following the, the, what is it, the logical chain of events of new career released, people need to grind reds for red dust instead of just the reds themselves. Because my mindset is, I still need to collect reds. Work with me here, Steam. Ste Steam's having a bit of a problem right now. How much time do I have in Vermintide 2? I've got 789 hours in Vermintide 2, and I've got very few red weapons. So grinding grinding for reds would literally be like, okay, great. I acquire I acquire reds to use. And this is always gonna be junk. We got blues across the board. Ah, oh, there's four Drew. Now let's see. Ford, is you showing up in my chat and pogging saying you're up for for Vermintide too? To make it work, you just need to set a deed and change it into whatever you want to play instead, but you cannot be the host. Well, <laughs> that sounds like something I wouldn't be able to use anyways. Because half the time I play alone. In this case, Fordaroo, or Died to Pinwheel, will join me, but... They removed then put it back in the game for some reason. I'm gonna hit you with the um, the uncomfortable reality of I don't think they did it intentionally. You're giving fat shark coders way too much credit if you think they did that intentionally. I'm now joined by my my friend. I've received a gift. 
Horatio, for you, my ratty friend, best wishes, Ford, Warhammer Vermintide 2 Necromancer career. They put it in the patch notes at the time. Alright, I need to reboot Vermintide 2 so I can actually... I say install the Necromancer career pack, but it's more of just activate the Necromancer career pack. I will say, however, that them re-adding it and talking about it in the patch notes is a very odd thing. Manage my 12 DLC for this game. There we go. Let's relaunch Vermintide 2. And forward, forward will hop in here whenever he gets the opportunity. Although now that I have Necro, I should probably change the title. You wanted the cosmetic stuff since you loved the Necro, but Bills kicked your ass. I feel that. My god, I feel that. Alright, fight for Daru to the game. Well... I'm going to keep the screen on BRB for a second as I change the stream title because uh, no necro, just nostalgia, no longer really tracks. Alright, so instead of... Man, that... Even that meme is dated at this point. I was going to be like, oh yeah, Netflix and chill, but Chaos Waste and chill, but nope. Alright, there we go. I've invited Fordaru. There's Ford. Ah, uh, damn it. Hi, Ford. At least there's you up for more chaos there. wastes? You ever been much of a sporting sort? Under principle, I'm still not gonna play Necromancer. Ah, like Last one went pretty damn well. Yes, yes it did. Yesterday, Ford and I were deciding whether or not we were going to even start playing Vermintide 2 again, and uh, we did a run of Legend of Chaos Waste to see how it went, and, uh... Yes. It indeed went. He was playing as Slayer, and I was playing as a Waystalker, and things got funky fast. Oh, targeting your skeletons means I can throw in vulnerability onto you. That or your hitbox is just ginormous whenever it comes to, to providing you with benediction. 
Why does our elf count her kill? I have no idea. We all have our quirks. Perhaps. But the fervor of her speech is like sacrament. If it worries you, why not ask her? Oh, you know why. Spire, you're talking to a necromancer. The board is setting up the skills Ning, and I probably should just look at it and do the same. So, real quick, click on the necromancer. Ugh. She can still use the old, uh, the old staves. That's good to know. Though she can't use flame storm staves anymore. Which did anybody really use these? And then yeah, she's set for all the old weapons. Yes, people did use the old flame storm staves. Eighty percent damage reduction for the next three hits. I don't know why I'm bothering to set up the talents and whatnot. It's not like I'm going to get any use out of them. It's not like I'm going to be playing. Good old Miss Fuegonasis. You loves it on Unchained. Also, hello. Hello, whippersnap. Oh, these young whippersnappers coming into my chat and telling me how they play the game. <laughs> uh, hi and welcome. I never enjoyed Sienna, so I didn't play her a lot. And whenever it came to playing Sienna, I think I played almost exclusively with the, uh... Oh, what in the world was it? Big fire AoE staff, you know? The one of the Screaming Skull, because I got a red version of it early, and I just kind of sat on it. Yeah, it's this one. Conflagration. Its use in AoE was very, very nice. All this makes me wonder. Have we been marching to Velocor's drop this whole time? Those... Go ahead and get these upgraded to at least, at, at least orange.
And you're one of the Sienna mains? I remember I used to joke back in the day, who mains Sienna? As a statement about where she was in the balancing, and how the general populace had kind of trouble with, with playing Sienna. My, my issue with Fuegonasis has always been that it, it never feels right. Granted, my builds with, with the Sienna careers were never very good. Like, I'd build, I'd build Unchain for, for, what is it, uh, Ignite on Shove and Damage Reduction to, to wade into combat and stay there. Young whippersnappers. Ah, yes, with the ADD enough to keep track of her overheat and whatnot. Ignore the fact that I played a lot of Ironbreaker and did use Drake Fire Pistols and the Flamethrower. It's not the point. Alright, Sniper, Crowd Control, Damage Over Time. What? Crit chance, crit power, lowest roll on crit chance, mid roll on crit power. I'll take it. Mostly so I don't have to roll around with it anymore. Max crit chance, low crit power. I'll take it. I'll leave resourceful combatant on there because it's a good standby. Not great, but it's there. Loner, I swear to God, I do not care. Critical hits increase attack power. It doesn't have the same target armor class for a short time. That might be good. Or we can go with this. I suppose I'll take the opportunity to, to talk. To just talk. So when it came to the Sienna careers, back in the day, I used to love, I used to love, love running the uh, increased burn damage, permanent flame. They set that to different, different uh, talent, to the same talent tree now, I think. Oh, where is it? Uh, yeah, lingering flames and famished flames. These used to be on separate, separate levels, and you could take both, and it was great, and I loved it. But it was too popular of a build, and it over and it kind of overperformed, so they got rid of it. And now you have to pick. I still run lingering flames and whatnot. Run, run double firewalk. Ass and fires from ash. Yes, yes. Confound. So staggering enemies, and then you take a fl uh, fire sword, and you can stagger whole groups because the claw attack of the uh, flame sword, fire sword, has infinite cleave for some reason. Yeah. Uh, pyromancer. I would run crit build. Yeah, maximize crit chance, and then. Try to spam the burning head, but... Eh... Crits are an inconsistent thing and shouldn't be your full focus on damage. And why did I the cat just meow loud enough for me to hear? I've got a headset on. That was a very loud cat meow. Whatever. But yeah... I, I have a gambling addiction, and I let that bleed into Pyromancer, so it's just like, okay, here you go. Run that chained burning head build. It, like, never work. Deathly Dissipation. Killing a special stops your spells from generating overcharge for 10 seconds. Wow, that's great. What? I think I had a problem with that. Yeah, yeah. I used Fireball Staff on her for some reason. I think because it was easy enough to generate charge and maintain high overheat. Don't know. And then whenever it came to Unchained, still using Fireball Staff. Why? 
I don't know. Maybe it's because it could consistently light large group things on fires. Who knows? Bolt staff, bolt staff, and then left click? Because right click would be a bit too slow, and you'd only get, what, like two, three fully charged bolts off? Right, and Unchained was Soul Quench, Outburst, Mainstay, Dissipate. Dissipate! I... Dissipate is too good, in my opinion. Enfeebling Flames, and then Bomb Bomb. Because with, with the build I have here, what I'd do is I'd be able to wade into combat. And on the higher difficulties, taking one or two hits will end up making you go basically on, on the brink of the explosion. But Dissipate allows you to block to reduce the overheat, and that's, that's great, because you can even use that to weave uh, ranged attacks into combat. And now the Necro Granny exists, and, uh... Well, the build is... is on paper. Crit for huge cleave and huge power. Generate guaranteed crits. Damage reduction and... Rattle me bones! First blood seems interesting, but I'd rather have the um, the consistent guaranteed crit for the use against most things. Though this build works entirely on paper. Is that the build for for who? Well, a certain demon. It was Cinch. It was always Cinch. It's all going according to plan. Actually, depending on what my, my teammate here goes with. As painless as I can. And that's supposed to make me feel better. Attack Does speed. It? Actually, a little bit, yes. Ignite, damage reduction, and that. All right, so my partner, my friend here, isn't going uh, crit necromancer uh, for necro. The Skelly Boys. Look, look, you're just going to the Bone Zone. And that's all there is to it. So your Necro build is one for Corpse Maker. Corpse Maker, Reaping. 
enhanced power for, I guess... I guess that would help with more consistently doing range damage. Two, one, two. Soul Harvest, Spirit Leech, and then Barrel Blades. Barrel Blades. pilgrimage to the Chaos Wastes. Could you not? Oh, Victor, how you fallen. Buy it, Bellicor. That is indeed a build. I have no comment on it because well, I literally got Necromancer this stream. One moment, please. All right, forward, you about ready? Let the blessings of... Days, O Sigma, let thy strength be ours. Horde is ready. We'll start with an expedition of fortitude and we'll see how it goes. Any comment would be great. Bellicor, um, it exists. This first demon prince has seized territory in the Chaos Wastes and schemes to become a god. You set this in motion with your ridiculous pilgrimages. I guess we're fighting Bellicor. Mess. I'll be honest, I haven't seen uh, Guaranteed Bellicor before. Hi, would you like to deal with Bellicor or deal with Bellicor? Alrighty then, I guess. Welcome back, I guess. Die! This region has fallen to the Dark Master. He cannot be permitted to consolidate his rule. Totems around the level will keep spawning enemies, destroy them, and stop the effect. That sounds awful. Beware his magic. And trust not to shadows. Greetings, mortals. I I feel like that dialogue is new-ish. It's been a hot minute since I've done Chaos Wastes, or new. Longer still since I intentionally went after Bellacor. Oh, God damn it. We got this Recoup a tiny bit of health. Oh, uh, I should have used the book. Whatever. Range station? Yes. Oh, hell. Oh, there. Right, we should probably run this sooner rather than later. 
Blood Berserker cult. Of course. There's Elder Regen. Thank you, you Kuba. Your reward. Don't forget it. Well, damage reduction is always a welcome sight, and we have the increased health from the one skill, so. Too much blockage effects? They block enemies, animations, and such. Yeah. Yeah, they do they do add a bit of chaos to the uh to the whole experience. Hi, Terry. Man, they really do just just dogpile on things occasionally and run their pockets. Patrol. Bombs here. Yeah, bombs are broken. I forgot about that. Well, Ford, either you or one of your skeletons pulled aggro. Reinforcement station you can reinforce your staff or the scythe or whatever you like. And I'll keep the potion of wrath. Got a force curve to take that, and he'll hand it off to you whenever he can, or you can get to it first. Whatever works. Seems we've stumbled across a siege story. Storm 
Well, not a lot I can do about the Blightstorm. It's someone else's, anyone else's job. By that, I mean it's either Fordaroos or, or Bardens. It. I have long desired to test myself against a demon. Nokri broke your old friend with jealousy, oh, right? I know you can't. The old man is a champion. Now watch your fight. Come on, he nailed me. Flame resistant shields, huh? Good enough. Money. I'll be honest, I'm a little terrified to try and roll away my primary because the the flail and shield is just so good. I need a shower. There's a trait, talent, whatever. Boom. I didn't see what it was because that was a whole lot of text in a small window. Every three seconds when you inflict a headshot or an on an enemy, spawn an essence orb with the location of sword grants cooldown regeneration. Ray. I mean that did indeed spawn an orb. No shortage of death. Life share.
Big boy. Easy enough. We probably shouldn't be attempting to storm Bellicor's keep. Bomb, potion. Goodbye, Lael and Shield. You are very good. Almost too good. Well, at least I got a weapon somewhat comparable. It's not as powerful, but... Hey, we'll work with it. It also gives me a mean right hook. Sigma. The size of this place. the rain station I could trade out my my shield and hammer for something else such times are these it's not I worth it the of the I'd rather just constantly reroll until I get plus to pilgrims coins and then well, we'll go from there ammunition should you have a cab there is an ammo box not seeing any extra delicious, nutritious pilgrims coins. Whenever your body's ready. To proceed, look for a winch. Oh, they think they can stop us, do they? Bile trolls. All right, where is it? Hear that? A troll draws close. Oh, there it is. It's already hurt.
At last, ammunition. Someone's been skipping. Dead? Yes. Gone? Not yet. Have a care. Shield latch. Rock the tail tail. Look how slippery the handle on this hammer is. Looks like the bony boys can't join us in the uh, the exit portal. You may find shrines along the path. And oh, okay, game. To earn miracles. You can spend Pilgrim's coins at this shrine to receive boons. Or maybe a miracle to benefit everyone. I won't judge much. Your coins are your own. Do with them as you think best. Look. Look, this, this is too good to pass up. So, Unyielding Blessing, uh, Shield of Faith now lasts for 8 seconds and allows the target to trample through lesser enemies and effects. I already have the thing where it heals you, so that's just very good. Uh, Prayer of Vengeance, more crit damage for the entire party, which is just good. And Empowered Smite, my smite hits at, uh, triggers after a second and gains increased stagger strength and deals extra damage. I'm poor but I am prepared. If I had the money, I'd probably buy uh, Kassar's Uplift as well. When hanging from a ledge, automatically recover. That sounds really nice. I can't tell you how many times I've been accidentally nudged off a cliff. Well, time for Bellacor. Also, I don't know why it says recruit. I did set it to champion, or not the champion, legend, right? Right? Yeah, we're on legend. Bellacor's champions are the gatekeepers. Slay them and earn the means to sever his link to this world. I never met a shadow that was a match for flame, darlings. God beast man. You just molest his soul. You've heard of the sex offender registry. Get ready for the soul offender registry.
You touched him in all all the wrong places, and he did not consent to that, Ford. That's all I've got to say about all this. Prophetic strike. Lots of rats and armored boys. What day is today? Bonk day. Why is there never anything up here? I have such hopes. And it's always futile, worthless. Uber's broken again. Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. Surely a mercenary knows a lost cause when he sees one. Not quite a full reimbursement, but quite a bit of money from this level. I appreciate that. Alright, remember Ford, for this event, once we get it started, we need to keep it moving. No breaks, no stops. More to go. I'm adding up. Suggest you follow. Ah, a stash of 
Horde, follow me down here. Horde! Horde! This is the fast way. Kruger. Grabbing Kruba. You have done all you can. It is time to move on. Well done. You need to come upwards. Up, not down. But money. I suppose you're right. There you go, crew. You goddamn fool. Yeah, Kruber died up here. Oh, Kruber. I'll patch you up, that's all deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to get myself up. Alright, we now have our choice of two veteran rarity. I say choice, but we might just get two. The veteran rarity boom. Veteran rarity boom. Jaff's rejection. You will always be knocked down rather than killed outright. You can still bleed out. And healing an ally with a health pack grants both of you 20% power for 40 seconds. Ass. Alright, so Nurgle or Tzinch. Received a text message from who? All right. Uh. Uh, please. Fort Ford's chosen Zinchind. Yeah, sure. We can we can cinch it up. Hey, 
Enemies have a chance to be reborn as smaller enemies upon death. Just the hammer. Fill your pouches and quivers while you can. So how long is it going to be up there that enemies have a chance to be reborn as smaller enemies upon the death? Sorcery of changes everywhere. Kill one enemy and two emerge. We are to be tested. It's still there for you. It, it really did just hang out for a while. Gonna force Barden to take the walk of shame and to grab the goddamn healing potion. Look, full disclosure, I'm here for the money, you see. I just want to get paid. No denaro. Right up. All right, so there's a path to the right with a boon. Two seconds after leaving invisibility, all attacks are automatically crits. I don't have invisibility. Ooh, red melee. Plus pilgrim's coins. There's a patrol, and two things of health. Life share. In fact, Kruber does have a shield. He can just block the fire. It's not brandy, it's not ale, it is disappointment and spit. No, that's what's at the bottom of the bottle when I'm drinking. Oh, it's Raced in the Nagash, Sienna. Oh, 
Don't worry. I believe in Kruber. Except I don't. To be honest. How do I tell my two hammers apart? Boom. Increase potion duration. There's not a I am melee only. There's nothing I can do about this. Good luck. God help you. Emperor help you. Sigmar, Sigismund, and Siggy Diggy help you. No chest of trials here, which is a good, good sight. We've run into chest of trials here before, and they always suck. Wounds for the body. The soul must fend for itself. Hang up, folks. Let me stitch my leg back on. What fire? Ammunition, should you have a calf? So much for walk fire. Will the ratties ever learn? No, the ratties will never learn. It is in the nature of the rat. I'm hitting it. Blood rot the berserker cult. Here, hold this bomb. Forget to claim your reward. Uh, this is the good thing, but give the entire party more stagger seems nice as well. We are disjointed by poison. The poison globidia smoke. The uh, the smoke from the poison globidia. Fight! Yes, fight! 
sight, and the path will clear. Amidia, see my stretch! <laughs> Necromancer calls out to Mermidia. Hmm, yes, very compelling. An extended invulnerability. I'd like whatever my secondary weapon to be to not be yet another hammer. while I feel like that lasted a lot longer than the last time we did it although last time I think we were fighting against beast Ben and it ended with a minotaur nothing this way blue rarity I sorry I don't want to replace my red Sorry, I thought I saw Pilgrim's coins. It was just a light so being peeked through bushes. I was looking to the right. There was one to the left. Whoops, whoops. Oh, not that. 
I knew that was my part since I killed that Tuscor on the old farmstead. That's the company. Ah. Oh, it's this place. So specials will spawn and they'll instantly die. Don't ask me how, don't ask me why. No one in my village had ever seen an elf. And it had been years since a dwarf passed through. Having fun forward. I'm surprised they never did fix this. Yes, Watch those globes. Keep back. Keep back. Death rat. For the grail. Didn't run into a monster that time around. That was interesting. No monster. Okay, we can go and fight corn, or we can go to a merchant. Actually, I think we should go to the merchant and then go to Nurgle, because that Nurgle has plus the pilgrim's coins and attack speed, although cooldown reduction may be nice. Hmm. DDR? Yeah, all right. I'm going to level with you all if you heard that broadcast through the mic. That was a bottle of antacid tablets. Anti-acid. Chalk. Tablets. Additive. Things to settle the stomach. Thumbs chalk. Amazed how far up river those ships can get. Yeah, seems like you did. That or they're just not programmed to come up this way and now they're broken. Bad news? I, 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 I need to be RB. Whoops. Look, I'll try to be back as quick as I can. Um, God help us all.
All right, sorry about that. Um, I took that antacid tablet and I was just like, oh yeah, I'll be fine. And then I immediately had to throw up, sorry. I think this will be the only one, the, the only round for today. Also, they can't path here? I, I thought so. I need to. I, I can only explain how I'm doing right now, and explaining it as my inf my my insides feel slimy. I'm I'm not feeling right. All right. Well, shall we face our inevitable doom? That's how it goes sometimes. Not a whole lot I can do about it other than feel uncomfortable while I sit here. I give you that. Your capacity for slaughter makes you a useful ally. Useful, but still not welcome. To some of us, Sarah. To some of us. I should probably take another antacid. Gas rat! At last. Ratoga. Die, filthy gas rat! Hey, how much damage does that soul rip do to rat ogres? Here comes a rat ogre. Glow clobber coming in. Come on! AI is being dumb. I am secure in my bed, of course. But I wonder what leads you to worship as you watch. Namibia strives for artistry in war. Also, she doesn't like bullets. Alright, Rat Ogre, all I need you to do is uppercut. Uppercut the dwarf.
The AI getting stuck up there and slowly dying to the Rat Ogre, and the Rat Ogre taking a chunk of healing for reasons I don't understand, is what did us in. Well... This is probably for the best, as I... I'm not feeling good no more. Don't worry, even though we lost, we can still win. We still get a soldier's vault. Alright, I'm gonna open that and then we're we're gonna call it for today, cause past few days haven't been great for for your old ratty. My standards aren't high, but even for me, the past few days have been a, a little rough. to see any of you next time um don't know what we're doing we'll see as we go have a good night and i hope you all feel better than i do